Hey, and welcome to Celebration Kids Online. We are so glad you're here with us today. Uh, my name's Pastor Robbie. And I'm Miss Talia. And we have an awesome morning ready for you, don't we? We do. We have a lot of singing. And some screaming. And some shouting. And even some dancing. Hopefully better than that though. But that's not even the best part. Are you guys ready to hear the best part? Oh, Miss Talia, can you tell them the best part of our morning? We're gonna go on an adventure in God's big story, the Bible. I am so excited. And today we're gonna discover something amazing that God wants me to know him. Can you guys say that with us at home? Nice and loud, are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Talia? I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. God, God wants me to, to know, know him. him. Great job, guys, but they look a little bit sleepy to me. What do you think? Yeah, they do. You know what might help wake them up? A games. A game. Do you guys like games? <laughs> awesome. Well, let's head on over to game time. Uh, 
Great job, guys. Didn't they do awesome? They did amazing. All right, I think you guys are ready to start our morning off. And do you know my favorite way to start the morning? It's to be nice and loud. Do you guys like to be loud? How about you, Miss Talia? I love to be loud. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shout nice and loud together our five values, the five things we all need to live a life that celebrates Jesus. You guys ready for this? If you know them, this is the perfect time to scream them out nice and loud with us. But if you're just learning, they're actually gonna show up right down here on your screen so you can say them along with us. You ready? Are you ready, Miss Talia? I'm ready. All right, so our first value is love, love God. God. We love God because he first loved us. Our second value is love, love people. people. We love people because God loves all people. And our third value is do, do your, your best. best. We do our best because God deserves our best. Our fourth value is celebrate. celebrate. We celebrate because life with God is worth celebrating. And our fifth and final value is flow, flow with grace. grace. God gives us grace so we can show grace to others. Great job, didn't they do awesome? They did amazing. All right. Now, if you're sitting down, you're gonna wanna jump up to your feet because we have a special visitor here to see you. You guys ready? It's our friend, Pyro! Pyro! I wonder where Pyro could be. I'll go find him. All right, I'll wait here with you guys. Oh, there you are, Pyro. Everyone, it's our friend Pyro. Can you say hi to Pyro? Hey, do you guys remember Pyro's signature move? Can we do that together? Do you think that's a good idea, Pyro? All right, guys. So let's everyone get down nice and low. And then what we're gonna do is on the count of three, we're all gonna jump up and as loud as we can, we're gonna shout, let's celebrate. Ready? Are you ready, Pyro? All right, one. Two, three, let's celebrate! All right, oh, you want them to be louder? I think so, you guys can be a lot louder. Let's try it again. Down nice and low, and on the count of three, we'll jump up and shout, let's celebrate! One, two, three, let's celebrate! Great job, guys! Oh, you've gotta get going, Pyro. Aw, oh, everyone say bye to our friend Pyro. Bye Pyro, have fun. So, I couldn't find Pyro. So funny story, he was actually right literally here? right here. Yeah, yeah, you just missed him. He took off that way. Had places to be, you know? But at uh, least you're yes. still in time for the best part of the morning. What's the best part? Are you guys all ready for another exciting adventure in God's big story, the Bible? I'm so ready. What story are you going to look at today? Well, um, today we're going to start exploring a new book of the Bible. Uh, it's the book at the very end. Isn't the rest of the Bible all just letters? Not quite. Um, there are a lot of letters in the New Testament. That part of the Bible that's written after Jesus comes. Most of them are letters written by the apostles through the power of the Holy Spirit to help us follow Jesus. Like all those letters from Paul we were just looking at? Yeah, uh, but there's one book left at the very end. One that sometimes people like to avoid. Why would they want to avoid it? Because they think it's too confusing or too scary. Scary? Yeah, some people find it scary, but it's not meant to be scary at all. It's meant to do the same thing that the letters do. Help us follow Jesus in this world we live in. So, what is the book called? Revelation. Revelation? You mean the one that talks about the end of the world? No, not, not really. I mean, it does talk about when Jesus judges evil and makes all things new. But that's not all that Revelation is about. No, it's so much bigger than that. But instead of just talking about it, Let's explore, uh, because this is going to be the perfect way for us to discover our point for today. Remember that God wants me to know him. Can you guys do that with us at home? All right, nice and loud. You ready? Are you ready, Miss Talia? I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. God wants me to know him. Great job, guys. So let's hand this over to Bucky and the team.
professor's calling. Another mission? Already? Well, it's better than sitting around being bored. Explorers, I'm so glad I could reach you. Are you okay, Professor? You sound winded. I'm uh, dealing with a little something. Uh, li listen, we received a message. I'm sending it to you now. Sorry I don't have much information to give you, but this is important. Trust me. I know if anyone can figure this out, it is you. Well, that was strange. <laughs> You're telling me. Well, here's Uvsas's message. This is the message we receive. Dissolve the mystery and unlock the vault. You will need a revelation to shine its light. Beware of the trials and traps ahead. Stand fast and listen close. What you see may deceive. Be wary the beast in its snare. To begin your quest, go here. And then it's just some coordinates. So I guess that's where we go. In the middle of a forest? That's a weird place to explore. So does it give us any indication what we're looking for? Something about a light, maybe? Well, I don't see a light around here. Well, what does it say? A revelation to shine its light? Wait, a revelation? Doesn't the professor always say that the best answers come from, the, from God's big story? Oh, I see what you're saying. The book of Revelation. The book of Revelation. You think that'll give us our answers? I, I think it's worth a shot, but isn't the revelation all about the end of the world? Yeah, and it's all super crazy and hard to understand. Well, actually, Revelations isn't about the end of the world, although it talks about that. It may seem hard to understand because it uses a bunch of like symbols and images that kind of help us see it from God's point of view. Once we understand the symbols, it becomes a lot easier to really understand what's going on, you know? At least, according to Professor Uvsas' commentary. Well, then let's give it a shot. Then let's start from the beginning. The revelation of Jesus Christ that God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angels to his servant, John, who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, whatever he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear the words of this prophecy, and keep that is written in it, because the time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace and peace to you from the one who is, who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and has set us free from our sins by his blood, and made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Wait, what is happening? I'm already confused. Well, so far, we know that it's a revelation, but also that John is writing to the churches. Yeah, John is writing something to the churches to help them for what's coming. But did you notice how the book introduced itself? A revelation of Jesus Christ. What does a revelation mean exactly? Well, revelation means to reveal something, to make it easier to see and know. So, revelation is written to help us know Jesus more? That's exactly it. Wait, how do you know so much about revelation? I sat through a class Professor Usas taught on it. It was pretty good. I think I skipped that one. Well, if revelation is really the key to this mission, then it'll be super easy. Should we keep reading? Maybe just to the first chapter to see if anything points the way? Good idea! Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. When I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands was one like the Son of Man, just in a robe and with a golden sash wrapped around his chest. The hair of his head was white as wool, white as snow, and his eyes like a fiery flame. His feet were like fine bronze, as it is fired in a furnace, and his voice like the sound of cascading waters. He had seven stars in his right hand, a sharp double-edged sword came from his mouth, and his face was shining like the sun at full strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. He laid his right hand on me and said, Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last, and the living one. I was dead, but look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. Wait, that's it. Was dead but now alive. 
What? <laughs> look, it's a stone marker, like a gravestone. That's a small gravestone. But look what it says. He was dead, but now he's alive. That sounds promising. Does he give us any sort of clue? Well, there's a lampstand on the left of the stone, so maybe that's a clue. So, we're going left. This is already going to be a fun adventure. Well, I guess we're off then. Wow, that's awesome! Isn't it? So, Jesus shows his whole vision to John to pass on to us. And like, all so that we can know him more. Exactly! Because God wants us to know who he is. But not just know who he is, he wants us to know him. To know him? Like, as a friend? Exactly! Because the only way for us to experience real life is by knowing God through Jesus. So, why do people find the book of Revelation scary then? Well, because it is full of symbols, and some of those symbols look scary at first. Oh, so is that why people find it confusing as well? Right, and that's why it's so important to read Revelation slow, to get some help when you need it, but it is so worth taking the time to read it. Because this is a book that Jesus gave us so we could know him more and be encouraged to trust him in this crazy world. That sure sounds like it's worth taking the time to dig in. Exactly, because God wants me to know him. Can you guys say that with us at home? One last time, are you ready? Are you ready, Miss Talia? I'm ready. All right, one, two, three. God, God wants me to, to know, know him. him. So we just learned that God wants me to know him, and that is great news. Do you know why that's so good? Well, it's because God is good and he loves me. Can you say that with me at home? Nice and loud, are you ready? All right, one, two, three. God is good and he loves me. It's so true, God is so good and he loves you so much. In fact, that's the whole reason that Jesus came. Jesus came to show us exactly who God is, that God is good and that he loves us. And then Jesus died to get rid of our sin. Sin is that selfish stuff inside of us that makes us want to live like we're our own God instead of trusting God and following His will for our life. And sin always leads to us hurting ourselves and the people around us. But the worst part is, it breaks our friendship with God. But Jesus, Jesus died on the cross to get rid of all that sin so that we could be friends with God again. So that anyone who follows Him uh, could be a part of God's family. And then Jesus even rose again from the dead to bring brand new life so that everyone who follows him can have brand new life. Life where God's own spirit comes to live inside of us, to lead us and guide us and be our friend. Now, some of you know this, uh, you follow Jesus, but for some of you, this might be the first time you're hearing this. If that's you, then, uh, but you want to today, you, you're hearing this maybe for the first time, or maybe it's the first time it's made sense to you, but today you wanna to follow Jesus. You wanna trust Jesus. If that's you, then I'd encourage you to let God know. Pray this prayer with me. Um, you can say it out loud or in your heart, it's just between you and God, but pray something like this. Father God, thank you so much for loving me so much that you sent Jesus to get rid of my sin. I turn from my sin and turn to you. Thank you for Jesus's resurrection that brings me brand new life. Thank you for your spirit that comes to live inside of me, to lead me and guide me and be my friend. Help me follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome, guys. Now, in just a minute, we're going to celebrate Jesus with some singing and dancing, but first, I would love to pray for all of you. Something I like to do when someone's praying for me is hold my hands out and close my eyes. It's just a way of reminding my mind and body that I'm listening quietly for what the Holy Spirit might want to say through someone's prayers. Are you ready? Okay. Father, thank you so much for these awesome kids. God, thank you that you love them and that you made them on purpose. God, that you have a purpose for their life. God, thank you that you want them to know you. Holy Spirit, show them who you are. Let them be aware of your love for them. Let that change their hearts. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome, guys. Well, hop up to your feet because we're going to celebrate Jesus with some singing and dancing. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. In the beginning, God made everything. God simply spoke and the world came to be. He sent a flood and made everything new. He parted the sea and let his people walk through. Us. This was so much fun. And our morning might be almost done, but the fun is not over. If you want some more exciting ways for you and your family to keep exploring God's big story together at home, then make sure your parents are following us on the Celebration Kids Instagram page. Not only can you follow the Instagram page, but we have a podcast called Academy Adventures where you can follow along with an amazing stories with Bucky and the team. Now, I guess we've reached the end of our morning. So until we see you guys next, Let's celebrate! I'm sorry. I can't, I can't. The first clap. All right. Right. <laughs> I was like, what? Guys, ready? Today, we're going to discover that God wants me. I messed up. I was like, God, but. God wants me to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you ready, Miss Talia? <laughs> She's not ready. I'm 
even this kids is why we don't punch the furniture. <laughs> oh, okay. Incredible Hulk, you are not. Okay. <laughs> okay. So ready! Let's know where you're <laughs> You gotta say it exactly like this. I'm so ready! I'm so ready! <laughs> oh man. Exactly. Yeah. Revelation, eh? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Trying to boil all my hair. Quill. 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 Goys. 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 Quill. Goys. Quill. Goys. Quill. Goys. Actually. Well, if rem, 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 rem. Love revelation. 